Tonight we are actually starting a new series called Rebound Maryland. With all the uncertainty from getting back to work to not making in meet, ends meet, we want you to know that we are here to help. This Friday, unemployment benefits will open to a number of new workers. WMER 2 News Maui's Faste spoke to Maryland's Secretary of Labor about the rollout of the new system and how they're handling this surge in claims. This is welcome news for self-employed, independent contractors, gig workers who have been waiting to submit their claims, and also for those who haven't been able to file online and can't reach anyone over the phone. They've extended call center hours 7 a.m. through 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and four hours on Saturday and phased in 60 new claim takers Friday with plans to add 200 in support staff. And still, the Department of Labor struggled to keep up with demand. Now Maryland Secretary of Labor Tiffany Robinson says they're close to catching up. We're finally getting to the point where, uh, you know, I think this week and next week it's going to be a really big difference and people are going to start to see it. Because on Friday, a new one-stop shop application becomes available online, which they believe will free up phone lines. Everyone now, not only the new independent contractors and people who couldn't file before, but federal employees, military um, employees, people with multi-state wage claims that also couldn't, didn't used to be able to file online. We have revamped the system so that everyone can file online now. What will that look like? Robinson said they're still working out the details, but these workers should prepare to upload documents that show payment history. Things like contracts and bank statements and anything, invoices. Any type of uh, any document that will show the, the income that they received, um, that's very different than our normal claimant who's submitting their W-2 or their pay stub. Um, that's why this system uh, was complex to, cr to create because we're now dealing with an entirely new group of benefit recipients who've ne never been eligible for and receive income in a very different way. Even though the system will be streamlined, some claims will still require manual processing. And while they won't be sending out benefits in 24 to 48 hours like California has promised, Robinson said they're within the 21-day federal guideline. We actually are getting payments out to many, many claimants much faster than that. If it's taking longer or if you've been denied, Robinson said you may fall into a category of complex claims and will need to call or email. We are finding that some people are actually filing. They're getting nervous and so they're filing their claims in multiple states. Um, so then we get a call from, you know, uh, Virginia and we have to, we have to work that out. Sometimes those types of claims with complex issues take longer than 21 days. Last Friday, the additional $600 per week from the federal government kicked in. Those benefits will be retroactive to March 29th and will continue for the next four months for anyone receiving unemployment. And for the new group of claimants who didn't qualify for unemployment before the Federal CARES Act, your state benefits will be retroactive to when you stopped receiving pay all the way back until January 27th. All right, thanks, Mallory. You can see more of the Secretary's interview, including answers to some of your questions posted on Mallory's Facebook page on our website at WMER2news.com slash Matter for Mallory. And if you have a matter for Mallory, she wants to hear from you, you can email her at Mallory at WMER.com. And then you can always find her on Facebook or Twitter.